so glad you're with us. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to the famed New York Arena here in Midtown Manhattan for tonight's main event. 12 rounds of heavyweight action between these two great warriors. Bad intentions is ring walk. Something special in the air. You can just sense it out of him. He's coming down to the ring now. And what a nice reception as he is completely focused in on his goal tonight. fans play on the fighters, the atmosphere of the arena when they know there's two guys meeting up that can bang. An immature fighter, a less experienced fighter, can get caught up. He can try to satisfy the audience. That's a quick way to be going into the shower earlier than you wanted to. Accurate counter punch by bad intentions. Teddy, I guess they wanted it. Look at this action going right out there, wasting no time. No, these guys are impatient. They couldn't wait to get at each other. He took a shot, but he came back with a right hand of his own. <laughs> Able to cover up along the belt line, blocks that one. through this round we always see great athletes week in and week out but Teddy what sport do you think can produce the best boxers well believe it or not basketball everybody would say football we saw two tall Jones he got demolished by little guys we saw Gastineau he got demolished we saw Highsmith he got demolished a lot of football players haven't done well but basketball players they have the physical skill sets where they can make a pretty good fighter. Of course, you have to get a guy that mentally is adjusted. Well done that time, landing the counter punch. Ten seconds remaining in this round. <laughs> round comes to an end. And that's one of those rounds, Teddy, that just takes on a certain style, a certain characteristic. And that was a busy one. Yeah, it was a busy one. Look, Joe, you don't have to look for these guys. They're right there in front of you. Why do you think that is? Why do you think sometimes you just get those rounds where it all happens? Because of styles. You know, styles make fights. In this case, you're seeing proof of that right there. Both guys that are aggressive, both guys that are very confident. Thank <laughs> you. 
And now a little combination punching, landing both shots. And you see he turned defense into offense, comes back with the counter punch. And that's exactly what he brings to the game. He makes you miss, he makes you pay, and he makes you think twice about throwing a punch later on. Devastating blow by bad intentions. Up and down, side to side. Return to sender. He gives him back one of his own. A headshot blocked. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. Able to dismiss his opponent's shot, and then comes back with an uppercut. the headshot here's one for you now he says right back with the left hand A tried and true method that works out very well the counter punch landing by bad intentions just 10 seconds to go in this round Coming to the end of this round, Joe and Teddy with you ringside. Teddy, a round like that where it's a lot of busy activity and both guys being busy, when you were a trainer, are those the kind of rounds that you prefer or do you like the pace to be a little slower? Does it depend on each guy? No, if I have a fight, I'd rather have a guy fighting a guy that you never see him. <laughs> Leave me the heck alone and where I'm in control all the time. But the fans love to see a fight like that. Basic but beautiful, jab right hand. Nice block by bad intentions. And now they're trading blows. A sound combination by bad intentions. One, two jabs. Nothing there on the punch by bad intentions. Unbelievable work there landing a four-punch combo. Good defensive skill with the block by bad intentions. Good scoring counter punch by bad intentions. Sort of like a loaded gun, that straight punch there, Teddy. You can see him lining it up and then just releasing and hitting that trigger. Yeah, you're right. A loaded gun with a nice long barrel that makes sure that the bullet, in this case the punch, goes nice and accurate. Straight ahead.
in his opponent and then landing the counter punch by bad intentions. Bad intentions, his favorite punch is the jab, and tonight he's loving it. Well, the jab is the table setter, Joe, and he set a beautiful table tonight. Napkin on the left, you know, small fork on the left, knife on the right, and the food right in the middle. And he's eating all you take, night. You taking some English etiquette classes? <laughs> you getting hungry? Ten seconds to go in this third round. And this round comes to an end. A round that was highly entertaining. They put forth a nonstop effort. Well, that's the styles that they figured to bring to this fight. Both guys with good motors. Here we go with the fourth round. See, the defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. Blocks that punch. Again to the melon. What a chin. Can you believe the shots this guy's absorbing? And more importantly, can his opponent believe it? You know what? You want to hit a guy. Holy cow! Bad intentions is in a bad spot right now. He's been stunned. There. Yeah, that's beautiful. You make the guy miss, you make him pay. <laughs> Reaching the halfway mark of this round. So swiftly able to turn defense into offense. Nice counter punch. And what you're noticing here is his opponent is starting to be a little wary of letting his jab go because every time he jabs, he gets caught. See, the defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. Ten seconds to go in this round. So we come to the end of the round. And that was a round that was very productive for him. Now he heads back to his corner. And they're going to try to repeat the success they just had, I'm sure. Yes, he heard his opponent there. He's going to want to go back to what he was doing and remember what set up those big shots. Pumps right back with a shot of his own. I would assume there has to come a point in this fight where he has to make the commitment to throw the power punches. It's hard to envision a way he's going to win this fight without going down that road. He doesn't have the confidence to do it. I don't know if he's mentally strong enough to do it. I think he's worried about throwing hard at the guy because... Maybe in his mind, that means the guy is throwing hard back at him. Your head, 
able to cover up that gut. What a fight. What a great, great, non-stop action fight this has been. Way through this round here. <laughs> Takes one, gives one. The right hand scores well. Dismisses his opponent's headshot. And now we got a fight. He fires back a right hand of his own. Good block by bad intentions. that punch away coming to the end of round number five last ten seconds fine fundamentals good counter punch end of the round is upon us and if the next round holds up like that, we're going to be in for a real treat. No, we will be, because both these guys have the philosophy that their best defense is their offense. <laughs> Able to block that away, it was targeted for his head. And there he counters back against his opponent. Teddy, so much work in the gym goes into head movement and how to hit a moving target. Doesn't matter in this fight tonight. No, this guy doesn't move his head. The old times would say he gets insulted if you miss him. Wow, look at that. Trading shots. Get out of the way. Able to dismiss his opponent's shot and then comes back with an uppercut. I don't know how they are keeping this up. They are setting such a scorching pace of action in this fight. is showing that he's got some defense of his own. He got away from that punch. You know, I thought he had quite a chance tonight, but I don't like what I see right now. Here he is, an outside fighter, and he's unable to do as he pleases. And if he can't win on the outside, we already found out that he can't do it on the inside. One minute to go in this round. Neither man has decided to slow down at all. Oh, boy, what a round. Effective work, the three-punch combination. So swiftly able to turn defense into offense. Nice counterpunch. And what you're noticing here is his opponent is starting to be a little wary of letting his jab go. Because every time he jabs, 
He gets caught. Working our way towards the bell. Last 10 seconds of the sixth. And you see he turned defense into offense, comes back with the counterpunch. And that's exactly what he brings to the game. He makes you miss, he makes you pay. And he makes you think twice about throwing a punch later on. is showing you a little defensive skill there. I better move away from that punch. <laughs> Frustrating his opponent with great defense. Well-targeted two-punch combo by bad intentions. Nice block. up top. Parries that punch intended for the head. At the halfway point of round seven. Got blocked. on his cheek right now. The good news is it's below the eye, but still, it could get nasty as the fight progresses. Nice block by Bad Intentions. A huge uppercut by Bad Intentions. Good counterpunch. Final 10 seconds. This has been a very entertaining fight. A little time to reflect here at the end of this round. My thoughts being this. I would really be surprised if we go to a decision here. It just has that kind of feel to it. Yeah, it has a feel to me like going to one of those places where you can eat all the pasta you can for one price, you know? And some guys get carried away. They eat about five bowls. Well, these guys, they're going to have a stomach ache at the end. Somebody is going to wind up not standing at the end. The tactical game paying off. You can see the counterpunch. Yeah, you see the counterpunch, but you know what I see? I see a little tentativeness now in him because he's afraid to let anything go because when he misses, bang, he gets caught.
left hand. And that's some fine work right there by bad intentions. He's showing very good footwork. He's showing fine defensive movement here. But as for the opponent, how do you solve that? Well, you got to make believe you're a football player. You got to make believe you're a linebacker in football. You go down the line with that running back. You don't go following him around the place. You make sure you move laterally. That's exactly what he's got to do. He's got to cut that ring down. Take space away. and enjoy this one. You can tell both guys are so determined to give everything they have here tonight. So it's like the first time you heard Ray Charles sing God Bless America. You knew it was special. You knew you hadn't heard it before. I haven't seen anything like this before. Blood's coming from his nose right there. That's not a big concern. What's more of a concern is the blood that he may be swallowing from that damage in the nose. He gets hit, but he gives it right back. Bad intentions. His cheek is cut. You can see it's opening up now. Boy, that could be a factor later on. Coming to the end of this round. Joe and Teddy with you ringside. Teddy, a round like that where it's a lot of busy activity and both guys being busy. When you were a trainer, are those the kind of rounds that you prefer or do you like the pace to be a little slower? Does it depend on each guy? No, if I have a fight, I'd rather have a guy fighting a guy that you never see him. <laughs> Leave me the heck alone. And where I'm in control all the time. But the fans love to see a fight like that. You need to capitalize on these mistakes. I want to see that counter walk. Make him pay for his mistakes. Let's, let's get on that swelling. Another round. Will it go in another one-way direction? It's been a one-sided fight so far tonight. Good scoring counterpunch by bad intentions. Well, here's the way we see it. He's down on the scorecards, has to have the knockout to win it. Yeah, and he has to understand that. You know, the main thing is he hasn't given in. You know, he's still there trying, but he's in a desperate place. So what he has to do now is look for one spot. He remembers maybe something he saw early in the night where the guy pulls out his hand out a little bit and maybe he can time him stepping out. Excellent two-punch combo by Bad Intentions. So swiftly able to turn defense into offense. Nice counterpunch. And what you're noticing here is his opponent is starting to be a little wary of letting his jab go because every time he jabs, he gets caught. Fine fundamentals, good counterpunch. Nice block by bad intentions. Comes right back at him with a left hand. 60 seconds to go in what has been a toe-to-toe -to -toe war. Oh, what a great round. This is great stuff. I mean, great stuff. Bringing it every which way they are.
So you remember the time you were on a vacation, you saw that perfect sunset? Oh, yeah. It was just beautiful. This is beautiful. Protects his head. What a good counter punch by bad intentions. And now they start round number ten. Uppercuts, great exchange. Good looking counter punch. Opening two minutes, a minute to go in this round. Takes one to give one, he comes back with a right hand. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. a shot and then commits to giving one right back good defensive skill with the block by bad intentions well, this round comes to an end. Joe and Teddy with your ring set. Uh, this is one of those fights, Ted. It just feels like to me where it's going to be tough to really score. I mean, it's been a close fight. Yeah, it's a hard fight to score because you have one guy maybe a little busier, but the other guy makes up for it because he's a little heavier. A little heavier with those blows. So it's a matter of maybe the taste of the judges, what they prefer. right back with the left hand a little head hunting right back to it 
Kenny, this is one of those moments where you just wish you could pick up the phone and call up the world and say, tune in. Everybody should be watching this, right? I have a cell phone. I might do that right now. <laughs> Start dialing. And you see he turned defense into offense, comes back with the counterpunch. And that's exactly what he brings to the game. He makes you miss, he makes you pay. And he makes you think twice about throwing a punch later on. after getting tagged like that. It's a life preserver. And he's going to have to stay there if he's going to get through these rapids. Nice block by bad intentions. So the round comes to its conclusion. And it's a round in which our man here, as he heads back, was really tagged pretty solid. So if you're the trainer in the corner, what's your approach? Well, you know, that's a great question. My approach is that I have to remind him that he's on common ground. He's probably going to think he's in a place where he's never been before, but I'm going to remind him, hey, remember you got hurt in the gym? And then give him something to correct the problem. You know, tell him some technical things that he needs to hear. is making for a tough target there. He gets away from that punch. Bad intentions. He's got to find a way to pull things together here. Ever since he got tagged earlier in this fight, he hasn't been the same fighter. No, he hasn't, but he hasn't really had a chance to recover. You know, he needs a round. Lose the round. Right now, his corner should tell him, look, lose the round. It doesn't matter. Just get yourself together. We'll pick him up later. We'll win rounds later. One to give one, he comes back with a right hand. Great fight. I mean, just a great fight. Both guys giving their all back and forth. It doesn't get much better. What a great round. Two minutes in, 60 seconds to go. by bad intentions.
good block there by bad intentions. That was good stuff throughout. Which way did the judges lean? Let's set it up to the ring to find out. Your winner, Bad Intentions. Bad Intentions is your winner by split decision tonight. Yeah, I disagree with that. That was a split decision. I had him winning much clearer than that. Won't be the first time we say that. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. That does it ringside. We'll see you soon.